We're going to start with Bryce Wild right off the the topic because yeah, the okay, topic is all about excrement <laughs> so I didn't want to say here with poo Bryce Wilde. It's a crappy topic but someone's got to do it right. It's Pull important. up a stool we have a lot to discuss. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, we start our lives uh, as children or with our parents talking about poo all the time. Absolutely. You're always checking in. You're figuring out what's going on with their digestive system. And then at some point in your life, it becomes one of those things you're not supposed to talk about right. anymore. Taboo, right? Yeah, it's hush, taboo. Hush. Yeah. So we're going to talk about it. Um, the sort of bowel movements you want to have, yep. right, and how they should look. Yep, that's absolutely right. Yeah. So, and it's funny how no matter how old we get, it's uh, once we do actually end up talking about it, it's yeah. something that is funny, it's jovial, and listen, we should yeah, actually talk. Not? Yeah, like, come on. That's okay. It, talk to your doctor about this as well. I like to think that the eyes are the window to the soul, yeah. but I'll tell you, sometimes the toilet bowl is too. <laughs> no, we got to learn to look more at this. It really you is a window look. to your health. You yeah. have to look at what's going on yeah. Yeah. Um, so sink? that you Does know what's going on. That's right, absolutely. Why don't we talk about what it's made right. of so uh, let's to do start that. with? So, you know, so let's demystify this first for people so they don't okay. think of it as something that is so utterly disgusting. Mm -hmm. Really, 75% of your poop is about two Two pounds worth of water. Okay, uh, that's, that's good. on a daily basis, right? So I'm going to get you to add a few things here. Sure. This is called. Okay, we'll go, we can start with this. So that that there is basically fiber, right? So yeah. about nine percent of your stool is fiber. Okay. And the other sixteen percent is actually inorganic material and bacteria. Now there's good bacteria and bad bacteria. In fact, Ooh. there really isn't just good. Yeah, that's that's not so I smelly know, it's though. Coffee, <laughs> it's, right? just, it's just coffee grinds. Well, I wish it's actually this was chugga. What it's really made of. It's, a, it's actually just chugga root. So you can mix that around in there. Okay. Um, so so we have good bacteria and bad bacteria. And the good bacteria is so key. We'll get to that more uh, later on. But good bacteria is ultimately represents 80% of your overall immune system. So when that's not in balance, we have something called dysbiosis or imbalance in good and bad bacteria, yeah. and that leads to a whole host of health issues. Okay, okay, from immune breakdown to you know asthma in some folks, skin, eczema, all kinds of things it contributes to. Okay. Uh, and the fiber, if you don't have enough fiber, well, that's the biggest issue as it relates to the form of your stool. Because okay? it's not moving through, it's not right? Moving through if you don't have the right amount of fiber. Right. So let's start from that end. What's happening there? Well, we've, we've all seen the sheep turd once or twice in our life, all right? <laughs> so this stuff here, those little pellets, and they fire off into the toilet bowl and splash up, and it's a it's a disaster. If you can even get them out, right. you know, you're you're just you're 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 happy happy that you know two or three plop out after three or four days of constipation. Right. So that's no good. That's usually dehydrated and too little fiber. This and is all made with modeling clay by the way. This guy's a magician. I, <laughs> I made this fresh for y'all this morning, okay? Yes, Just in you. studio by the way. Thank you, Bryce. So this is also a little constipated. You see how there, there's kind of like the sheep turd kind of clumped together. So yes. we don't want to see that either. By the way, if anyone want to look this up, it's called the Bristol Stool Chart. This is a validated, bona fide chart that I show my patients when I'm referring to. And often people don't even know that they're constipated really? and we're having too loose. Yeah, so I ask them to find their normal, and Stool. they do, and then we have to have a discussion. Okay. These two here represent normal. That's what you want. That's what you want. And you know, it, it, the size is all about the difference in anatomy. All of us, you know, are different in shape and size, but I yeah. want you to notice one thing in particular. It's kind of got a bit of an S-like shape, mm -hmm. okay, to, in both cases. Is this one being a little thinner and smoother? Mm -hmm. That S-like shape, that represents the sigmoid colon. On the way out, your bowels twist, and that holding tank before the colon, the rectum, mm -hmm. is where a stool sits before it ultimately then evacuates. So when it sits there with the right amount of fiber yes. and the right amount of water, it's going to then come out All with a little together, bit of, as like in that. that, bingo. And that's what you're looking that's for every day that's when you look you in the bowl. That's, right. that's that's the That means you're good. And it should dive into that bowl like an Olympic diver, <laughs> right? Just without much of a splash, without much of a, you know, a mess, okay? <laughs> this ultimately is all broken up, and certainly when you don't see uh, color in it. Brown, by the way, is just basically bile, which comes from your uh, holding tank and your, your gallbladder, essentially. Okay. And right. bile's recirculated red blood cells. So when bile gets emitted and you have enough digestive enzymes going, on, then you get the brown color. This is not healthy. You, listen, you want to talk to your doctor about anything on this side mm -hmm. or anything on that side. Okay, so let's say uh, you're on that side. Yep. What might you do to get more looking like that? Usually more water and water, fiber, water, water, right? And fiber. On this side, it's usually more or lack of probiotic activity. You just had 
uh, uh, antibiotics and mm -hmm. you have antibiotic associated diarrhea. Mm -hmm. This is the number one reason mm -hmm. to bring in good bacteria because the antibiotics kill the infection you might have, but they also yes. kill the good bacteria. Okay. If you're right? trying to up your fiber, you can do things like this. You well, can add it to your water. So let's talk about fiber because there's soluble fiber yes. and then there's insoluble fiber. So okay. let's start with insoluble. That's the stuff that just stays in your gut and it doesn't really break down. Now, we need both. We get this from fruits and vegetables. We got to yeah. eat more of it. But this is that sort of that gloppy, gloopy mess, Ooh. right? That's the, that's, that's more of like the psyllium husks of the yes. world, okay? So we get usually enough of that, but where we're missing is soluble fiber. It's so hard to get from our fruits and vegetables. And this is an example of something called regular girl with probiotics, by the way. So it's a soluble okay. fiber. So watch what happens. So I'm gonna mix that together. And literally in about five uh, to 10 seconds, it's entirely going to disappear. No that's gloopy, good. gloppy stuff, right? Yeah. So that's called sun fiber. And this stuff is available you know, widely and all kinds of different brands carry this. Uh, the regular girl is available online, regulargirl.com. But okay. more of these good bacteria and fibers in your diet, mm -hmm. more fruits and vegetables, more water, folks. You hear it all the time, water, water, you know, eight water. glasses of water a day. On average, people differ person to person, but yes. that's where we got to maintain ourselves. Okay, good. Well, yeah. now we know the benchmark. Uh, now we know that you, if you're not in there, you got to sort of talk to your doctor or figure out what to do with your diet. That's right. Get that good bacteria yeah, there. Absolutely.